But the fact remains, Rick Michaels, one of the very best of all time ever here at Wildside. And he's meeting the future of pro wrestling, AJ Styles. This is it, Stephen. The future, my ass. This is now. AJ Styles, Rick Michaels. The match the fans in NWA Wildside have waited to see for the better part of three years. Rick Michaels, the Wildside Heavyweight Champion, two-time reigning defending champion. 26 years old, a 10-year veteran of the sport, began in the professional ranks at age 16. He had to fight and scrap for everything he got in the wrestling business. AJ Styles had a lot more natural ability coming into the industry. In his only three years of experience, AJ Styles has literally done everything in professional wrestling. He's wrestled all over the globe. He's wrestled for World Championship Wrestling. AJ Styles has been the consummate wrestling superstar. Rick Michaels has been very successful in his own right, but he harbors a lot of jealousy, a lot of animosity that the man that he trained has been more successful than him. Rick Michaels has a chip on his shoulder. Rick Michaels has a point to prove tonight as the defending Wildside Heavyweight Champion, AJ Styles, is chasing the dream that he had when he walked into the doors of the NCW training facility way before NWA Wildside. Full Nelson. So much riding on here. We're, we're talking about truly exchanging holds. We're talking about some of the most rudimentary wrestling holds, but done with such zeal. So much power because so much is riding on this match. A match literally two or three years in the making. This is something that AJ Styles believes he was deserving of quite some time ago. Perhaps that's true, but the fact remains he's only getting it this evening. And all the behind the scenes machinations of Rick Michaels could not stop the charging challenger AJ Styles tonight at Christmas Chaos 2001. Perhaps AJ Styles' wish will come true. It's a jury by AJ Styles. Styles laying in kicks. Michaels with a slap. Styles with a kick to the, the knee there of Rick Michaels. Michaels goes down and goes down hard. This is not the first meeting of these two athletes. Matter of fact, the crowd at the Georgia Dome once saw Rick Michaels and AJ Styles wrestling in a match. I ended up with AJ Styles defeating Rick Michaels at that match. Rick Michaels was not the NWA Wildside champion at the time, I might point out. But it was a sterling match and raised the eyebrows of everybody in attendance. Waist lock by AJ Styles. He's going to try to out-wrestle Michaels. If anyone can do it, he certainly can. Irish whip, two palm drag. Down goes Rick Michaels and another. And a beautiful truck kick by AJ Styles. Two count only. And that match at the Georgia Dome in front of all those fans in Atlanta, excuse me, at the Phillips Arena was for the World Wrestling Federation. That's the difference. AJ Styles takes him down with an arm bar. It was in from some 20,000 fans, but they were World Wrestling Federation fans. AJ Styles did not have that ungodly pressure of these fans in the NCW arena. And while there's not many of them, they want you to get every single ounce of their penny, the money's worth. AJ Styles rolling him over. Oh my goodness, inverted STF in a reverse position on his stomach. Not a position that the champion wants to be in, certainly. But preparing for a match against AJ Styles, I mean, how do you do it? Every AJ Styles match is entirely different than the one before. Now that's a kick. AJ Styles going to work on looks like the knees of Rick Michaels. Oh, kick to the back of the head. AJ Styles is not really known to focus on a specific body part. AJ Styles can take you out so many ways. He's got the champion down. AJ Styles has his mentor down. It's a chip that's rested on the shoulder of AJ Styles for three years. Can he defeat his mentor in the ACW arena? Moonsault off the chest. Michaels tucks the clothesline. Styles comes back. Knee drop right on the face. And a super kick out of the ring. Goes Styles. And Michaels is following suit. Michaels bursts like a bird on the far ring apron. AJ Styles crawling. Michaels, what does Michaels have planned? He's on the opposite end 
of the ring from Styles. Charging with a lariat, knocking down the challenger in the attempt. Clothesline line off the apron. Styles attack is very tactical. He's a consummate professional wrestler, 10 years of experience. Learned the game from some of the greats just by experience. At 16 years old, he got his ass handed to him by veterans like Tully Blanchard and Wahoo McDaniel. On the East Coast independent wrestling circuit, he scraped, he clawed, he fought his way into the wrestling business. Now he's crutched on a guardrail. AJ still for the super kick. The element of surprise is going to be key in this match. We know about the power and the incredible arsenal moves from both of these opponents. But we're also talking about two people who know each other awfully well, but yet they still constantly reinvent themselves every time they go to the ring. But particularly with AJ Styles. And Styles goes charging back first into the guardrail. Oh, Michael's gorilla pressed AJ Styles into the crowd. The wild side heavyweight champion knows his student. He knows AJ Styles. He knows how Styles thinks. And while their offenses may be very different, the thinking pattern is very similar. Rick Michaels who ended up face first in the concession stand. AJ Styles about 40 feet behind Michaels. What happens? AJ Styles did a double springboard off of the concession stand and up cut finally cabinet and splash Rick Michaels. I don't think even Styles thought he was getting able to pull that one off, but the adrenaline that flowing through that body right now knows no bounds. I think that move may have surprised AJ as much as surprised the champion. Well, Styles got the better of Michaels on that exchange. Styles is a risk taker, he's a daredevil. That's something Michaels claims he didn't instill of him, it's AJ's nature. By birth, he's a death defier. And interestingly, a uh, oh, pin attempt from the challenger, still not enough to pin the champion, Rick Michaels. Interesting point about him and AJ Styles for such an incredible risk taker he is. I mean, it's amazing that he's not any more injured than he is. I mean, of course, if you're a professional wrestler, inevitably you're injured and your knees hurt. AJ Styles are no exception there. But as healthy as this man is, week in and week out, it is nothing short of a miracle. That is the phenomenon known as AJ Styles. Michaels has kept a running theme throughout this feud that AJ Styles has no respect for the wrestling industry, and that's an out-and-out -out lie. AJ Styles is one of the most humble men I've ever met in my life. So gracious, so thankful for everything that he's gotten. He's a very religious individual. Reversal there. Up the ropes goes Michaels. Kick to the face by Rick Michaels. Oh, Christ. And he slams through third court. Styles did a flip midair, ended up still landing on his back. Taking the wind out of the sails for AJ Styles, but for how long? This is an opportunity Styles is not taking lightly. Michael's on top. Oh, a shoulder up, just a nick of time from the challenger, AJ Styles. One of the most momentous matches we've ever seen here at a wild side, and it is the main event of Christmas Chaos 2001. It may be the most important match in Wildside history because these are the two cornerstones of NWA Wildside. Rick Michaels and AJ Styles have been around since the doors opened to the NCW arena. They've seen a lot of people come and go. AJ Styles came and went himself, but he came right back here. Had the opportunity to chat with him, he told me, when he was on many of those plane rides to Monday Nitro and the various World Championship Wrestling shows, he had one regret in his mind that he would never be able to win the Wild Side Heavyweight Championship. That was one of the goals, his biggest goal. When he, oh, AJ Styles to the outside, hard into the barricade. Crowd is scattering yet again. Champion Michaels throwing in a chair into the ring. Make that two. But fate would have a hand in AJ Styles returning to Wildside. Maybe it for good, maybe it for bad. Good for us, that's for sure. Rick Michaels going on the assault. 
of his fallen protege. Rick Michaels with an insulting stomp to the midsection. Kicking AJ Styles like a piece of trash on the side of the road. Once again, referee Andrew Thomas showing more than a little bit of leniency according to the rules here. As is his want, the leg of AJ Styles wrapped up in that chair. He's gonna break his leg. He's gonna break his damn leg. If he pulls that off, oh my good lord. It looks as if he's trying to shatter the kneecap of AJ Styles. You take away the leg power of AJ Styles, you may very well successfully have curtailed the power of the challenger. This is not tough love. No, it certainly is this not. This is not the psychological dealings of a teacher and a student. Rick Michaels is a very bitter and disturbed individual. He's not trying to defeat AJ Styles, not only defeat him, no. He's trying to take him out. He's trying to stop him from hogging the spotlight that Rick Michaels thinks he deserves. Kick to the back of the head by Michaels. I mean, perhaps Michaels is deserving. Pin attempt. The champion on top of the challenger, Styles, gets a shoulder at 2.5. Perhaps Rick Michaels is definitely deserving of Wild Side Championship status, despite some of his actions over the recent months. But there's no denying AJ Styles, all he has accomplished, what he has done for the level of professionalism and offensive maneuvering in professional wrestling. It truly knows no bounds. It is truly AJ Styles' destiny to go for the Wild Side Heavyweight Championship and tonight is an opportunity that AJ Styles relishes. Michaels on the top. Styles crutches him. One of Rick Michaels' old tricks. Baseball slide to the back of the head. Rick Michaels may have suffered a whiplash from that maneuver. His head whipped forward very intensely. Conspicuous by his absence, Rick Michaels' enforcer, David Young. Man, it's been very instrumental in his previous matches. Oh my goodness, Styles went for a vaulting body press, but Rick Michaels knocked him down in midair. That's true, I guess it's probably to Rick Michaels' advantage that David Young is not out here at ringside. They haven't exactly uh, been the most working cohesive unit in recent times, so perhaps it's uh, to Michael's benefit, the champion's benefit, that uh, David Young is not, no Encasa, at least I haven't seen him walking around, which is good news for the champion. Michael's, Michael's choking Styles with a camera cable there. Michael's one, uh, once again, instructing the crowd to clear out. Good on his feet! Only AJ Styles could have pulled that baby off. AJ Styles is an Iron Man. Michaels thought he was throwing AJ Styles into the chairs. Little did he know that Styles was going to land on his feet. But the point is moved now as the throat of the challenger draped across that top ring barrier. Get him back in there. Michaels is measuring Styles. Michaels going springboard off the guardrail and a symbol club to the head. Rick Michaels does not like flashy professional wrestling. Rick Michaels likes to break you down, beat you up, and beat the hell out of you. Rick Michaels is a man of the old ways. Rick Michaels is a winner. Rick Michaels is a champion. And AJ Styles is matching him right here. The teacher, the student, outside the ring, the phenomenon, the chosen one, the most important match in wild side history. You are witnessing it right now. Chairs are flying in the seats of the NCW arena. Once again, you can't pin anybody out there. It has to take place in this ring here at Christmas Chaos 2001. Two men are on the merchandise stand. They're on the merchandise stand. AJ Styles has Rick Michaels going for a powerbomb. Michaels reversed it. Styles went through the merchandise table, I believe. I don't have the best vantage point here from the desk. Because we don't have monitors here. We're so close on the action. But the fans are constructing my view. 
I do see Ring Michaels climbing to the top of the bleachers. But I also saw AJ Styles take the face of Rick Michaels and careen it into what's left of the merchandise stand. Please bear with us, fans. So much for the merchandise. Referee Andrew Thomas instructing both individuals to get back in the ring and having some harsh words with AJ Styles. That could come back and bother Andrew Thomas if he's not careful. Styles and Michaels are just, just tearing into each other on the outside here. The crowd is truly standing. The intensity is so thick in this match. The electricity is so thick. You can literally cut it with a knife. The tension in the air. The championship on the line. Michaels and Styles rolling back into the ringside area now. Michaels heaves Styles over the guardrail. Styles on the arena floor. Michaels has had the upper hand now for the last two minutes, causing severe damage on all parts of the body of AJ Styles, both in the bleachers as well as the merchandise stand, literally all over this arena. Things seem to be going the way of the champion. And the champion has this matchup in his control. Goes for a backdrop, but still can't close lines. Rick Michaels to the outside. AJ Styles is in a lot of pain, as is Ring Michaels. Oh, no! Dave, David Young! I didn't even know he was even here. The tag team partner and one-time best friend of Rick Michaels out here to check on that fallen champion. The referee, Andrew Thomas, is counting. He's counting the champion out. And AJ Styles doesn't want to win that way. You can't win the title on a via countout. Shooting Styles press! A shooting Styles press onto David Young, who really came out here to check on Rick Michaels and got hit by the shooting star. Well, it looked as if Michaels actually shot David Young. In Michaels and Styles are heading back to the dressing room. What the hell are they doing? Get them back out here. This is a wild side heavyweight championship match. The passion of this match is really knows no What balance. the hell is it? What's going on? We've seen this move before. That's so for Pete's sake. That's Jason Cross. That's Jason Croft. Bill Barron's caught him red-handed. Bill Barron's wise to the plot of Rick Michaels. Rick Michaels' plan has gone astray. He thought he was going to be able to pin Jason Croft. Oh, dear. What the hell is this? A golf clash on the ramp. Looks like the new role model ain't much of a role model at all. And AJ Styles, he's back and he's loaded for bear. Referee Andrew Thomas. The start. match has been restarted. Thank heavens. Ladies and gentlemen, the match has been restarted. Rick Michaels' game plan has fallen down. Has pretty much exploded. AJ Styles on top of the champion for the pin, still not enough for that elusive three count. But now that Rick Michaels' plan has gone astray, this is really gonna throw the champion off. This could be the opportunity that Styles has been waiting for from that opening bell. Who to the face by Michaels. This is an intense situation. 
An intense situation. Stop! Boot to the face. KJ Styles is fighting with every ounce of fervor. With every last... Andrew Thomas getting way too close to the action and unfortunately getting clocked for the feet of the phenomenal AJ Styles. The, cha the challenger perched up on that top turnbuckle. Perhaps a superplex. Uh, check that. David Young now in, trying to grab his friend, the champion, from AJ Styles. Wait a minute. What is this here? David Young is assisting AJ Styles. Styles clutch off the top rope. Styles clutch off the top rope. New champion, AJ Styles did it. Ladies and gentlemen, the world of the match. And new wild side heavyweight champion.